What's going on over Sports? Back with another video, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Teoscar Hernandez. There's lots of buzz around the league about Teo potentially being traded from the Toronto Blue Jays, and actually this morning, there was some news um, out, I believe it was John Morosi who came out and tweeted about it, about the Jays discussing with the Seattle Mariners a potential deal regarding Teoscar Hernandez going to Seattle for Chris Flexen, the starting pitcher, of course. Now, I don't know how accurate these rumors are, but um, you know, obviously, and I'm just gonna—I'm not gonna talk about that trade in specific. I'm gonna be talking about the general idea of, um, you know, will Teoscar Hernandez be traded? And I don't want Hernandez to be traded. Um, you know, I'll be, be the first to say that I like Hernandez a lot. Um, you know, I, re I really do. Uh, he's one of my more favorite players on the team. I think he provides a lot of value. He's not old. He's 30 years of age. Um, you know, but I do, you know, like, will they trade him? It's pretty 50-50. Should they trade him? It's pretty 50-50. You know, I mean, I actually think they ultimately will end up trading him. Um, is it the right move? Like I said, I think it's 50-50. I think it, it depends on what you get back for him, and I think it depends on, you know, obviously – does the return make sense right now? I mean, do you need Hernandez on this team? No, you know, there's, there's much bigger needs than the right fielder position, but you know, ultimately you obviously would want them, but uh, you know, it's, it's a very interesting topic that I'm going to be talking about here in this video about the 30 year old right fielder Teoscar Hernandez. In Teoscar Hernandez's five and a half year career with the Toronto Blue Jays, he's been tremendous. Um, you know, to say the least, he's been really good. Um, he's been an all-star. He won two Silver Sluggers. Um, and he's played 609 games here with the Jays. To go with that, he has hit a lot of home runs with the Jays. Um, no question about that. Um, in his career with the Jays, he's hit 129 home runs. He's driven in 369 runs. He's been absolutely tremendous with the Jays. He's got an average um, in his career with the Jays of 263. So he's been really good, um, but especially in the last three years since that COVID season in 2020, the last three years he's been terrific. Um, you know, of course, that year was the first year that he won the Silver Slugger. He was actually 11th in MVP voting. Um, so, you know, he's been really good, but now the Jays – uh, you know they, they they could sign and and the other thing is the Jays have um a risk of losing him um next season in free agency even if they you know arbitrate him this year so you know obviously for Hernandez it's it's a matter of can the Blue Jays replace him and I think they can as good as he is I think he's replaceable it's not like this is the only he's the only bat in the Jays lineup you know they have so they have a lot of other good um, hitters in the lineup that I think, you know, if they get even a guy like Michael Brantley, he he could replace Teoscar Hernandez. Whit Merrifield could play there. Um, you know, if they bring back Jackie Bradley Jr., he could play on the occasional day there. They got rid of Tapia, which makes things interesting. They actually did that a couple hours ago. They cut Tapia. But, you know, if the Jays can get something in return, um, that's really good. Like a starting pitcher for Hernandez, I think they make the trade. The only, you know, if it's not for a starting pitcher, um, I don't think the Jays make a trade for Hernandez, and I don't think they should. But if you're asking me if I would trade Hernandez, I would say no. I do not want to trade him. Um, will they do it? I think they will. Um, and, you know, should they? Well, it's depending on what they get. I'm not going to kill them if they trade Hernandez. I like Hernandez, but I understand the side that, you know, they might have to trade him because, you know, he's going to be a free agent next season, you know, and there's risk of losing him for nothing, so you might as well get a good starting pitcher in return for him. But you know, he's been really good. Last year was his worst of the past three seasons. Um, he took a bit of a step back, but he's still 25 home runs. He hit 267. Um, you know, in, in less games and 60 less plate appearances than the, pr the year prior. So, you know, Hernandez is still a great player. Um, I'd love to have him here in Toronto, but if the Jays can get a guy like Chris Flexen and a, you know, 
decent relief pitcher. I think they got to at least think about making the trade. And, you know, they've been in talks with the Mariners. I would prefer to not send them to the Mariners, but if they're going to give the best return, then I think you got to do what you got to do. But I'd rather keep Hernandez away from the Jays and, and potentially playing him in the playoffs. We all know how good Teoscar Hernandez is, but if the Jays need to trade him, you know, to improve the starting rotation, they might have to do it, of course. But like I said, I'd rather him go to the National League, but if a team like Seattle is giving the Jays the best return, then you got to do it. I don't think the Jays trade him within division. Um, you know, that's not going to happen, you know, but a team like Seattle is probably the best suitor for him and the most likely, um, you know, in a trade. They have a few... Um, you know, they have a few starting pitchers that um, are tradable at least because they have so many middle-of-the-pack pitchers, like from the 3-4 range. Of course, they have Castillo and, and Gilbert. Those guys are probably not guys that they're trading, but, you know, and same with Robbie Ray. But then they have guys like Chris Flexen that, you know, could be traded. And if you can get Flexen and a guy like Diego Castillo, I think, you know, it might make some sense. And you got to at least think about trading him. But you know, it's going to be a very interesting off season for the Jays, and I'm going to hear, be here to break it down. Uh, but that's all I got on this video. You guys let me know down in the comment section your thoughts on Teoscar Hernandez potentially being traded. Should the Jays trade him? Do you think they will? Um, and, you know, let me know all that good stuff down in the comment section. Like I said, I don't want to trade him, but, you know, I think they will trade him, and I think it might make sense to do so you guys let me know all that good stuff down in the comment section and as always please leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new we'll see you guys on the next video and as always let's go blue jays